the odds of winning big in a lottery are slim to say the least. Still, we keep hoping that lottery ticket will become our one-way ticket to extreme wealth. Experts say your odds of picking the winning numbers never change, no matter how many people buy tickets. Lotteries are by no means a modern invention. The emperors of ancient Rome held them for entertainment. European monarchs used state lotteries to help fund their extravagant lifestyles. And the American colonies held lotteries to finance road work and construction projects. Pressure from the church and widespread fraud led many countries to ban lotteries during the 1800s. But governments eventually reconsidered. They just couldn't resist milking that cash cow. Those eye-catching tickets are designed by graphic artists. A technician takes the design, separates it by color, then sends the information to a machine called an image setter, which generates one negative per color. Next, they place the appropriate colored film under each negative and expose it to ultraviolet light. This hardens the color not shielded by the dark portions of the negative. When they wash away the unhardened color, they're left with a color image. They layer the films to make the client a mock-up of the finished lottery ticket, in this case a scratch and win type. Now they make the printing plates, one for each color of the design. First, for the non-playing area, everything outside the scratch zone. Each negative goes on to a paper-thin aluminum plate coated with a UV-sensitive emulsion. They expose the plate to UV light for about 20 seconds. This hardens the unshielded emulsion. The rest is washed away in a chemical bath, leaving the design in relief on the plate. For the ticket's playing area, the same process but instead of an aluminum plate coated in emulsion, they use one made of photopolymer, a light-sensitive plastic. The finished plates are now ready to go onto the printing press. Their raised surface will work just like a rubber ink stamp. The non-playing area goes on first. This method is called offset printing. The press applies up to nine different colors, one after another, from lightest to darkest. High-intensity UV lights dry the ink in the mere half-second between color applications. Next comes the playing area. A high-speed inkjet printer first applies the game numbers, chosen randomly by computer. Infrared lamps dry the ink in a split second. A strobe light enables the press operator to do spot checks as the tickets whiz by at a rate of 5 meters per second. Then the printer gives each ticket a unique barcode. This enables ticket vendors to scan your ticket to see if you've won. It also shows whether a winning ticket is genuine or a forgery. The next machine seals the game numbers with layers of varnish then apply six coats of scratchable ink. An electronic scanner checks the positioning of the scratchable ink, making sure it hides the numbers. The first three scratchable ink coats are black, the next three white. All those layers to keep cheaters from holding the card up to the light to see the numbers. Now they can finally print the playing area design onto that white background. In this case, a crossword design. A machine now perforates the rolls of tickets so they can be folded. It processes three meters of tickets per second. Here's what that looks like in slow motion. The next machine folds the tickets along the perforation lines into piles called fan folders. Goodbye slow motion, here's the actual speed.
Before the lottery tickets are shipped out, several samples undergo a quality control inspection. The company checks that the tickets are properly printed and it performs a series of scratch tests and chemical tests to make sure they're absolutely cheat-proof.